Okay, everybody, before I show you the completely new and changed Facebook profile, I just want to make this quick video for you and kind of inform you on what's going to happen so you'll be prepared. On October 4th, I guess, is going to be the release date, and also you're going to be able to opt in. So hopefully, uh, if you want, you can opt in. If not, you don't have to, but of course, eventually, they'll probably change completely over to this. But I do want to state that this only has to do with your profile and not the news feed. They've changed the news feed now. Now they're changing the profile and what people see when they go to your profile. Don't freak out because if you're like me, you don't go to your profile very often. But there are some cool new changes in the profile that I really like. And we're going to show them to you right now. So here we're going to go to my profile. And as you can see it is completely different and right now only developers aka the people who have figured out how to get this little back door and to do this can see this so if you're not a developer and you go to my profile you won't see this yet you'll see the old profile on October 4th it'll completely change over I personally have taken about five minutes gone through it and it's not really that hard and actually I really like it a lot and they've made it a lot more streamlined and a lot more proficient in um, the things that they did so one of the quick changes is is I'm just gonna show you when I go over here to home I click on home it goes back to the news feed what happens is is your news feed isn't changing at all it's just gonna be your profile so I wanted to show you that what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go back to our profile now I wanna start on the right hand side here real quick as you can see it's still the live updates which do not change throughout the news feed they're also on your profile now and also your chat is still over here so that hasn't changed and your chat is still normal um, you know so there you go right there what we are going to do is talk about this and this is your new cover it's just kind of a personalization to your page now this is my dream bike uh, the bumblebee of motorcycles here I would call it and what you can do is you can easily change this cover right here by clicking on this and you can choose from your photos uploaded photos whatever or you can remove your cover real easy real simple just gives a little more flavor to your profile also you still have your profile picture so you don't lose that but it's just right down here in a small one your name still gonna be here you can update your info and also you can view your activity now view your activity is only viewable by you and what that means is you can see what you've done just within the past few days I mean all the way up to playing your games or whatever it may be and you can also choose to allow on timeline feature on timeline or hide on timeline I really don't care to see every time I play backyard monsters so I'm gonna hide it and also you can show say oh I don't want all my friends to see it so I'm just gonna do only me so we'll do that and we'll save it like that and that's all you have to do and there you go your features are changed to what you want them it's more personalized and it's not gonna be spamming all your friends uh, pages with hey he played this game he played this game he played this game and you don't have to hide your friends stuff anymore so we're gonna go back to the profile here of course your information that you guys give Facebook and you can click about of course and they'll give the information we'll just go ahead and click that and it puts it in a nice neat format and what you wrote in a nice neat format and of course you can edit that I'm gonna go right here your friend now real compact little area and you can just click on your friends and people can see your friends real easily real quickly and go through that and of course they can still search your friends um, nothing much different there just a different layout and of course your photos this is really cool is your photo albums will be up here and of course if you hit see all it's going to show you all your photo albums right there and then down here photos and videos of you tagged so it's put it in a nice neat ordered organized fashion of, vi of things that you can see real quickly so I can just scoot through here and also put a timeline on it this is why they call it the timeline of Facebook because now you can see oh that was back in 2010 holy cow look at all the stuff I did in 2010 uh, look at what I did in 2008 and 2009 you know oh now I realize that I went to the Black Eyed Peas concert in 2000 
2010 at the very beginning of 2010 apparently because that was with Nicole there so I'm gonna go all the way back up here and of course you can add photos and videos just like always now here's another cool feature is they've added to where you can click on the maps and it shows you where you have been and I want to click go down here because this was Kiowa I'm gonna click on that and you can add a photo now to where you've been so when I was down in Kiowa uh, I did this wedding for these two and there you go you see a picture if you click on it come back here you can close it and it shows you how many times you've actually checked in somewhere so apparently I've checked in 43 times in Wichita and then it'll actually zoom in and then it'll show everywhere that I've checked in within that uh, zoom but that's really cool because then look you can tell I mean if you really want to tell people where you're at then this is the way that it's going to be very um, what do I want to say it's going to be very revealing so everybody that comes to your profile can see where you have been we'll just refresh it and go all the way back out but you can see I've been to Kansas City to Manhattan so I've been to a lot of places and also once again here's the timeline it gives you the timeline of when you were at places so June it'll give you where you were at in June where you at in July um, very revealing stuff so if you use check-in just remember this is gonna be the new profile so we'll go back to the profile and of course right here this I believe is gonna be my pages or what I like yep just my likes here so if I like something you'll be able to see what I like and you'll be able to go through here and uh, see in a timeline how I've liked it my music stuff like that I'm gonna go back okay and if you want to see more like notes subscriptions stuff like that you'll be able to click this little tab right here and it'll show you okay it's got two so subscriptions I've subscribed to Mike Shinoda's uh, actual page so there you go it shows us subscriptions you can add stuff whatever it may be if you create apps whatever it may be you can do that right there and of course all in a timeline so right here when you're on your own page you'll see your status you can upload photos places uh, work and education family and race it just makes it really streamlined so if I want to update my status I can do it right there and then of course once again you can add places you can add friends you can also say who gets to see this and you can customize it so or you can put it in a list it's kinda like your uh, what Google circles is trying to do so there you go right there and of course you're just gonna hit post and what it's going to do is is it's gonna show on this timeline this is going to be your timeline right here and it's gonna show on your timeline when you did it and everything else and you can also add something on your timeline right there so if you want to add something before or after you can actually do it by just running this little plus up and down the line really quite interesting and so we're gonna go down here and also on your timeline let's say I like my photo that I uploaded I can feature it on my own timeline to give people a better idea of what I thought was important or you can also of course hide from timeline or delete the post so either way you can tell people hey that come to your profile I really think this is an important part of the timeline so what you do is you star it and of course you're gonna see all the comments and stuff down here but what it's doing is it's just creating a timeline and throwing it right or left like on the left side here it's got 16 photos that I uploaded within a certain time frame uh, right here today I uh, my bare chest but I uploaded a video so as you can see right here it's showing the timeline on how I did things and it's really cool you can I can start out and I can say okay I wanna um, let's see let's choose I wanna choose uh, this one just for Mike Medecki's sake and I wanna star that one so what it's gonna do is it's gonna feature that so when people are roaming through here they say oh that must have been important to Joel and of course you can just see it goes right or left but I mean it's not that hard you just gotta look right or left or ultimately if I wanna go to my timeline over here and see something that I did back in 2008 
I can click on that and bam it brings up everything that was happening in 2008 like if people were commenting on my profile or whatever it may be it gives me an idea of what was going on I can um, also they give you months within here too so it gets a little bit crazy and you can go all the way back to born which um, I'm pretty sure that oh wow you can actually go all the way back to when you were born and add a photo so you can actually create your life on Facebook I see exactly what they were talking about now I can see when Ashley my my half brother was born wow so it puts a picture of when you were born awesome so if you put your date and your year in it will actually put when you were born wow and as you can see uh, right back here I would have never found this Alpha Phi's formal I love that dance for sure but as you can see you can go all the way back and you can actually create your life on Facebook I can add a photo of when I was a baby. I was born on October 5th. And if I had the year as my date, then I could add a photo. And if somebody wanted to go back and look at my profile, they would see when I was born. If I wanted to include my military career, I could go in here. I could add a photo back in, uh, let's see, 1996 is when I started. So right here, graduated from school in 1996, graduate, I can add photos. Wow this is definitely a timeline and that's what Facebook was going for was they were going for the timeline and you can tell people your whole story of your life if you want to now if you're into private stuff and everything else and you might not want to but I'm a very open person but you can create your own timeline right there so there we go so I'm just gonna be bop on up here to now and uh, let you guys soak all that in because there is a massive amount of changes on this and hopefully this video will help you once it comes out on October 4th which ironically is one day before my birthday some people are gonna hate it some people are gonna love it but the whole idea is is the fact of people are gonna be able to come to your profile and see your life story alright hope you guys are having a great night I'll talk to you later.